Hello, bookish friends. Editing Drew here. I just wanted to come on here real quick and let you guys know that, um, as you can see from my weekly vlog, we are not going book shopping for me and Taylor. Um, I went book shopping with my grandpa and I, so you'll see some uh, behind the scenes stuff for that. But editing here, just wanted to let you guys know, um, I don't want to like have you guys be confused but we are not going book shopping even though i did went book shopping this week which may sound a little confusing but me and my friend taylor did not go this week but i am happy with the books that i bought so yeah hello bookish friends in the internet welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is drew and this is drew's ambitious reading and happy friday everyone we finally made it to friday so my Friday video for you guys is going to be an unboxing. I am very excited. And then my Monday video will be my birthday vlog, which I'm splitting up into two parts because next Tuesday, actually, I will be going book shopping with my friend Taylor. So we are going to try if we have enough questions. Um, we're going to do a Q&A segment on our YouTube channel because Taylor can actually come over to our house or my house and hang out with me for a little bit on Tuesday. So we're gonna try and do a Q&A section here in my room, which I'm so excited that we're doing this. Um, so if you have any questions for me and Taylor about our friendship, about book shopping trips, bookish things, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to have that be in the next video for you guys. But anyways, today's video is a very exciting video. It is time for our monthly Owl Crate unboxing video. This is the month of June. I am so freaking excited for this. If you do not know what Owl Crate is by now, Owl Crate is a monthly book subscription box where you get one new hardcovers each week, or each week, each month, um, and five to six goodies that is centered around a theme. And the theme usually centers around the theme of the stories. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. That is all the info. I'll leave Owl Crate's information down below. Um, they are now starting to do an adult fantasy box, which I'm so excited. And they're also doing a book only option for all their subscription that they have. So that's really exciting too. Uh, I sign up for the book op only option, so that will be interesting to see how that is. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the unboxing. This is for the month of June, which is my birthday month. So I was so excited about this box ever since they announced it because there is supposed to be um, holographic foil on the hardcover. So that's gonna be interesting to see. So without further ado, Yay! So it says guide to unboxing if you give to hoots. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> and then of course on the inside it says snap, share, snuggle up. Snap, photograph and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Creek community. And snuggle up, get cozy and enjoy your new book. So this is what the inside looks like. I am like seriously over the moon excited for this. Um, so let's jump into it. I'm going to have the box sitting off to the side and I'll just grab the items out as we go. So the month for June's theme is If Fates Allow. This is the June spoiler card. I love it so much. Um, I'm not going to read this because I know most of the fandoms. The only one I'm not a huge fan of is the Scorpio Graces, despite me loving the Raven Boys. So we'll see. Let's get into this box because I cannot wait any longer. So future me is going to hate this, but we have all of our fuzzies, fuzzies, <laughs> all of our fuzzy right there. So the first item I see is in this blue little seal case. It says the sea does not like to be re restrained. Yeah, restrained. Not sure what that quote is from. Let's see. Mm hmm. Nor oh, it's inspired by North Mythology by Neil Gaiman, I think. Let's see. 
I have to open it to see what the item is first. Oh. What is it? Come on. That was hard. Ooh, it's a necklace. That is so cool. I will definitely wear this. Ah, I think this actually might be from Percy Jackson. Oh yeah, it is. It says, inspired by Percy Jackson and the Olympians, your enamel pendant features iconic design representing both Annabeth and Percy. Designed by Keeley Studio, this is a perfect item to wear as you enter Camp Half-Blood. So this is Percy, and that's Annabeth's side. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Mm, probably won't fit that way, so let me take it apart. That's actually really cool. As a Percy Jackson fan, I would totally wear this. <laughs> so that was item number one. Uh, the next item is the treasure tome pen. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bunch of stuff on the ground by me. This is the treasure tome pen that we have. It's a monthly pen. Um, this is inspired by the Raven Cycle. This is pen number six out of 12. So let's see what this pen looks like. Ooh, very pretty. So it has the raven on there and then a belt, it looks like. <laughs> um, and then you can open up on the inside. Ooh, there's um, caves water and the Bronx. I'm filming. So it looks like this on the inside. I cannot wait to put this on my pin banner collection. Next I have is, oh, are these pins? Oh, the Songs of Achilles hand mirror. Reflect on the tales of Achilles and Percotilus with Songs of Achilles inspired hand mirror. For those who see the hopeless romantic in the self, this mirror featured beautiful artwork and a quote from the story that truly represent the love display between Achilles and Patroclus to the very end. I feel like I'm saying that name wrong despite me reading this book this year. Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> okay. That is gorgeous. So, haha, there's me. Hi. <laughs> and then this is the gorgeous back. The quote on here says, I will know him in death at the end of the world. Ah. Oh. From reading that book, I just remember it. So, yep, there's me again. <laughs> Look at how stunning that is. Ah, yes, please. Um, so that's really cool. I don't know if I'll use that item, but I'll definitely give it to someone I know. Ooh, next is this big item we have. I don't know what this is for. It says on the back, keep your wooden tables and halls safe from wayward burns with the ceramic trivet. Inspired by our favorite tales from North North mythology, this trivet features a quote by Neil Gaiman and has been lov been lovingly illustrated by Puma. I'll create exclusive. Ooh. Making sure there's nothing else inside of it. Ooh. Honestly, I don't know what this could be used for. Is this supposed to be a... I don't know what to do with this item, but it's so pretty. Look at it. So it says, that's the joy of myths. Read the stories, then make them your own. Neil Gaiman. That is so pretty though. And it's like a perfect item if you like ASMR, which I do. <laughs> so love that oh are we getting down to the book what is this owl crate what is this 
Is this another lunchbox? <sighs> Let's see, there's a tag. Um, from the sea to the start, picnic blanket, follow the instruction. Oh my gosh. So this is a giant picnic blanket. Oh my gosh. This is a giant picnic blanket. That's so exciting. Like, they've never done an item like this uh, in the boxes. I thought this would be like a book sleeve or something for bedding and all that. But no, it's a giant picnic blanket. What is this inspired by? Let's see. Uh, picnic blanket is inspired by the Scorpio Graces, which is another book by Maggie Stiefvater. That's so cool. I love that. I'll definitely use that item. More of these little thingies. <gasps> ah, we're getting down to the book. Okay, the book. I'm so excited. Is there no plastic wrap on this? Hold up. Oh my god, you guys. There's no plastic wrap on this month's book. How exciting. So I don't have to struggle... I don't have to struggle with opening my books. What's the book? What's that? <gasps> my guess was correct. Oh my gosh, this is also on my Amazon wish list. Thank you so much, Al. Okay. It is uh, Threads That Bind by Kika Hatabzapuli. I'm so sorry for butchering your last name. The back has a quote on it and it says, feel your feel and keep going anyways. Ooh, this is a stunning cover. There's like, ooh, holographic uh, like dust jacket, like a see-through dust jacket on here. So if you take it off. Ooh, so same quote on the back. Love this artwork. Um, there is a beautiful end foil, end paper with foil on it. And then same thing on the back. And then there's the author letter inside that is bound into the book, which I love that they're doing that now. And then it's also signed by uh, the author. So that is really exciting. Um, I cannot wait to see what this is about. Well, I kind of know a little bit what this is about, but this is a completely different cover than what the original is. And I literally thought about buying this book um, when I go book shopping with my friend Taylor, but now I don't have to because I have this beautiful, stunning edition. And I believe this is the author's debut novel as well. Um, so I'll read you the author letter. It says, Dear Al Craig Reader, the first inkling of the story was an image a, was an image of a girl standing on the roof, rooftop while her city flooded around her. In her hand in her hands there was a silver thread, a thread of destiny. From this image I plucked the rest of the story. The flooded streets became the silken cities of Al Al Alanti. The girl fashioned herself into a Goa, a young detective gift, gifted with the powers of the Greek fates, and the silver in her hand, yeah, in her hand, morph into a thread of fate, connecting her to the boy she is destined to love. As I begin writing, I filled Io's tale with hard choices and a possible question. What happens when the world collapses, when power is abused? How are you, how are you, how are we defined by our family? Do we still have a choice when fate, when fate is something as tan tangible as a thread between our fingers? I hope these are questions you crave answers for too, dear reader, and that you enjoy the following, enjoy following Io's as she shapes her own destiny. Ah, it sounds so good. Cannot wait to read this. I might be adding this to my July TBR or August, haven't decided yet, but it's so stunning. So that was really excited to see. Um, 
our July theme is Break the Curse, and every box will include an exclusive item design, designed by Agroni Art. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Uh, here's the monthly pamphlet that we have. Uh, we have an author interview, an interview with the author, of course. Um, and then here is the Owl Crate cover. And then that's the original cover. I really like both covers, so I wouldn't be mad if I got a second copy, to be honest. Um, there is some information about the nest again, some news that is happening. Um, and then there is an interview with the vendor. There is the June Owl Crate challenges for the photo challenge that you can do, which I'm hoping to do this time. Um, and then it's time for another Owl Bubble coming out with the Owl Crate team and Kier Kika, author of Thread That Binds. As always, the chat will be spoiler free and filled with lots of fun. Hope to see you there happening sometimes in July. Come check out Owl Crate on Instagram for final date in time. Um, and then there's a playlist that you can do this QR code for and other releases they're excited about is Sing Me to Sleep, Something Close to Magic, uh, The Grim Grimoire Grave of Grave Fates, and Break the Pretty Things, and Starlings. I haven't heard of any of these except Something Close to Magic and The Grimoire of Grave Fates. I'm actually thinking of getting both of those books while going book shopping. So, yeah, that is everything in the June Owl Crate box. I hope you guys really loved it. I really did. The only item I don't know what to do with is this little guy. So, let me know what you think I should do with this one. And I'll talk to you guys down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I will talk to you guys down in the comments below. If you got this box, let me know what your favorite item was. I would love to see what you guys thought. Um, and I cannot wait to go put on this necklace now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys down in the comments. Bye. Don't forget to hit, I mean, not bye yet. <laughs> uh, don't forget to hit the other subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And give me a big thumb up as it helps me out. And now I'm going to go say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs>